What's up guys, this is Christopher Carrington with GMBstudent.com and today we have another tutorial on how to jump away from jQuery. What we are going to do today is we are going to do something that's so simple and I hate that so many people jump to jQuery for this. All we are going to do is make a toggle button so that some kind of div can be shown and hidden whenever anybody clicks that button. So as you can see, if you click this button right here, it will hide whatever is in that div and if you click it again it will show it but it does not affect this text here because it is not in the div so whatever is in the div will be hidden and shown hidden and shown what we are going to do is make our own library functions so that whenever we want to show and hide something or we want to toggle something we can just call those functions instead of just calling um, instead of just calling jQuery because you guys learn a lot more about the language when we utilize our own JavaScript instead of just calling jQuery so let's learn how to do this on our own so the first thing that I have is I'm working in Eclipse and I just have a file called showhide.jsp and then I have another um, JS file, JavaScript file, called showhide.js and I have both of these in the same directory whether you're using .html, .php, whatever you are losing it does not matter and it doesn't matter what your workspace is I'm in Eclipse, you can be in Dreamweaver, Notepad++, wherever you are because all you need to do is just utilize some HTML here and utilize some JavaScript so, since we have our HTML here, and we have our JavaScript over here, we want to reference that JavaScript. So we are going to have to embed that JavaScript into our file. So, just say script, and you will have script, type is assigned, text forward slash JavaScript, and then we want to put the source of that JavaScript file, and it's called showhide.js. So now what is happening is any JavaScript that we write in this JS file will be able to be referenced within this JSP file. So let's make sure it works. So let's just say hello world in our .js file. And now let's go back over here and remember I'm in show show hide.jsp so this is the page that we're working on and if I view the page source we will see that I embedded that script file and if I click this we go to hello world so we know that we have embedded everything correctly always do error checking like that because it'll make your life a whole lot easier so now that we know that this is all in there right we can delete it okay now what we want to do is we want to make our button that will allow us to do the showing and the hiding so just say button and close it. And just a little disclaimer, you can do this with on-click divs, you can do this with ahrefs, it does not matter. I'm just using a button for this example, but don't think you always need a button if you want to do show hide. So in here, let's just say toggle picture. So if we come back over here, refresh the page, now we have a button that's called toggle picture. But of course it doesn't do anything because we haven't gotten there yet. So now I'm going to add the picture of whatever we want to actually toggle. So after this, I'm going to add some space. And then in here, I'm going to say, whoa, what on earth just happened? Okay, in here, I'm going to say image. Uh, what is going on? Sorry about that, guys. In here, let's say image src. And then mine is just called image.png, I'm pretty sure. And then um, let's close this tag. So let's make sure that that worked. Okay, so now we have the actual image of what we want to show and hide, but I want you guys to get all of the information that you want to show and hide and then encapsulate everything inside of one div. So if you guys have a whole bunch of text or you have text and pictures or maybe just one thing, I want you to encapsulate everything in one div and give it an ID of something. And then you need to make sure your closing div is around all of your content. So my ID is just going to be picture. So basically the purpose of this is so that all of the child elements of this div will be shown and hidden when you click that toggle button. So this is a way so that if you have tons of different information, you will be able to show and hide everything because you just want to show and hide the parent element, that whole div, and everything in it will work the same. Okay. So the last thing that we are going to do within our HTML is we need to add the onClick function to what we want to happen when somebody actually clicks this button. So what, what do we want to do? We want it to actually toggle this picture. So let's just say toggle. 
and then let's send it the ID of what we want to toggle. So since we want to toggle picture, just say picture. And you would put in whatever div ID you want to here. So now you see it actually looks a lot like jQuery. We are just going to set, um, utilize the function toggle, and we will send whatever we want. So now we're actually going to make the function and make that toggle function work in JavaScript. So I'm going to save this because we are done here. So now let's go into show hide.js. And I want you guys to create three functions for me. So just say function toggle, and in the parameters we are grabbing the ID. So now when the user clicks toggle and they send this ID, it will go to this function toggle and it will grab that ID. But I want you guys to create two more functions called for me called function show ID. And then the last one is function hide ID. These are three functions that I honestly have in every single website that I make because I call them all the time. So this is really good that you guys are watching this tutorial because it's going to be useful stuff. You always want to show things on click. You always want to hide things on click. And sometimes you even want to have some kind of toggle functionality. So first, let's tackle the show and the hide. The way we're going to do this is type this and I will explain it. In the show, say document dot get element by ID. We're going to send it the ID that came in from the parameter and then say style dot display is assigned block. So what this is saying is when you call the show function and you send it an ID, it will scan the entire document. It will look for that ID. It will find that ID and then it will give it a style of display block. So if it was not shown, it will now show it because it will add this style to this ID. So the only thing that we are going to change and hide, we are going to copy all of this, paste it in here, but now it's going to be none. So this will scan the entire document, look for that ID. When it finds it, give it a style of display none, aka hide it. So let's check if this worked. All we are going to do is send send uh, send the hide ID here. So what we are saying is when the user clicks toggle and they send this picture, all we want to do is call this function which will hide that ID. So we saved it. Let's see if it works. I click this button. Boom. It's gone. But if I keep clicking it, it doesn't come back because the only thing that we said was we wanted it to hide this ID. So now somehow we need to check if it's hidden, then show it. If it's not hidden, then hide it. All right, so the way that we do that is first we need to create an element that we are going to do our error checking on. So just say for me, var element is assigned document dot get element by ID and the ID. So now anytime we want to refer to that element, aka this whole guy, we will talk about uh, this um, this variable right here. So now we want to do some error checking that says if the element is display none, then show it. If the element is not display none, then hide it. So the way that we do that is we just say if element dot style dot display equals none, then we want to show it. So if it is currently display none, show it. But if it is not, hide it. It's as simple as that, guys. This is all jQuery is doing. So it just grabs that ID and it puts it in an element. And then it says, if the element is currently not displayed, show it. If it is displayed, hide it. And, and we could just do a simple else because there are only two options, so we don't need to do another if statement. So let's see if what we made works. So we refresh the page. I'll refresh it one more time. We click toggle picture. It's gone. We click toggle picture. It's there. Boom, 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 boom. All right? So that is all you need to do. So quick refresher. Anytime that you are going to now want to toggle anything on your page, you can just add an on click functionality to whatever that user is clicking. Or you can do an on hover, or you can do all kinds of things. But you will just call this simple toggle function, and you will send it the ID of whatever you want to toggle. And if you want to show something on your page, just call the show function. You want to hide it? 
call the hide function. It's as simple as that. And as you can see, you guys will probably get into the habit of now utilizing this in all of your websites as well because you can see it's a great functionality to have. So thank you for watching. This has been Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com, and I hope this tutorial was useful.